Hey, this is Mike Jatadis with TriMaster Swimming and Barry's Coaching in Louisville, Kentucky. Have you ever lost track of or lost count of how many laps you've done? Never happens, right? <laughs> happens to all of us. Well, I wanted to share with you a, an easy way to keep track of, and I'm not going to say never lose count ever again, but uh, keep track of how many laps or how many repeats you've done, okay? Uh, we're going to do this by using a, uh, this strange looking clock that is most likely already hanging on the wall at the, at the pool that you swim at. Okay. It's called a pace clock. And, uh, so here's just one way of how to use a pace clock. And maybe it's been kind of a mystery to you. Maybe swim it, you're new to swimming and, or a lap swimming or training and all of this. And you see this clock there and you don't know why it's there. Well, here's just one way, uh, that you can use it. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to imagine with me for a second that you're swimming a hypothetical swim set. Okay. And we're going to do eight by 50 meter repeats, eight by 50 meter repeats. Okay. So in a 25 meter or yard pool, it's going to be down and back. That's one repeat. All right. And let's also pretend or imagine that it takes you approximately one minute or 60 seconds to swim your, uh, your lap, your repeat. Okay. And then we're going to do, we're going to do these repeats on a one minute and 15 second interval. So here's what that means. So for example, you see the pace clock, right? And, and the kind of the hand counting off the seconds, it just keeps going around and around, right? So as it comes around, you're going to start your first one when it comes to the 60 right here. So that's number one. It takes you approximately one minute to swim your repeat. And then the interval is one minute and 15 seconds. So you allow that clock to come over right here. When you see it reach the 15 second marker, that's when you push off and you start your next repeat. Okay. Same thing again. It takes you approximately a minute to get back to the 15. You wait another 15 seconds. That's your rest interval, right? You can swim faster if you like. So if you, if you swim a little bit faster, it takes you 55 seconds you've got about 20 seconds rest till you start the third repeat. So on and so forth. So I hope that makes sense. Okay. Now we're doing eight of them, which just means you go around the clock for or twice, right? Two times. How do you keep track of how many laps you've done? Let's say you've done six or seven and you've kind of forgotten how many you've done. Well, if, if you've done six, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, you've done six, or you at least know that the last time you started a rep was when you pushed off and started when it was on the 15. So that would have been six. So that when you get back to start the next repeat, you know that you at least have to start on the, th on the 30 down here. So that would be your starting number seven and boom, you're back on track. Number seven, number eight, and you're done. Okay. So I hope that little, um, trick kind of helps you to use the clock. Obviously you can break that down into other increments as well, but let's stick with that for now. Keep it simple. Using the pace clock is actually a very valuable skill. Uh, especially if maybe you forget your, your Garmin or your swim watch and there you go. You've got a tool right there to help you keep track of how many, uh, how many reps you've done on a swim set. So, Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you'd like more uh, coaching tips like this, please feel free to visit the blog, which is tryswimmingblog.com, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.